¿Cómo están? Yo soy Natalia Guerrero y les doy la más cordial bienvenida a todos ustedes que nos están viendo a esta entrevista Match Sin Filtro. Love y Sofía Reyes, welcome to Match. Hi. And guys, okay, let's go straight to El Tejano. I've been looking, well, I, I've seen um, some interviews. I know that El Tejano is a place in California. What's Hollywood, is it? Like a bar. Uh, North Hollywood. North Hollywood. Okay, talk to me more about. So, when did you guys discover this place that you were like, a oh, well, you both like it? Yeah. Um, I, I originally found it a friend of mine when I first moved to LA, like, I don't know, four years ago. A friend of mine told me about it because they have like, They have like, they literally have margaritas that are the size of your head. They're like <laughs> 32 ounces or something. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. And yeah, I just started going there at first. Like when I was getting adjusted to LA, I would go there like three times a week. I would go there so much. <laughs> <laughs> What are you, Sofia? I used to live like two blocks from El Tejano. So I, you know, that was one of my first, first places um, going out and stuff. But the thing is, like the story, and I think I told you, Ari, I don't know. But um, at the beginning of the year, I released a song called Idiota, whatever. And mm -hmm. the song, I, like, I wrote the song for this guy. And my first date with this guy was at the piano. So everything uh -huh. happened at the same time. And I was like, this is so meant to be, like, this has to happen, you know? Um, so funny. Yeah. I have to ask you guys, okay, if whenever we go to El Tejano, What's what's the best drink I have to ask for? And if there's food, what what dish we should have? Margaritas? <laughs> Never eaten there. I'm gonna be honest. So I know We're you eaten there. better than me. But margaritas. There's there's one that is red. That is like a strawberry. Mm. I don't know. That's the one I always get, and they're great. But like with one or like a third of one, you're already like tipsy <laughs> or what? Yeah, it's so good. <clears throat> So one margarita, um, big size, that's enough for the night. No, 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 you, I don't know. Have you, have you finished the whole margarita? Me? Oh yeah, I've had like two of them, but that's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, actually I probably shouldn't even say that. You both, you've been exploding with so much music during this time, you know? Sofia, you've got a lot of uh, featurings, you know? And every featuring, I do not love, because I know you listen to Sofia's music, you, you, you are not afraid of reinventing yourself. You know? And yeah, you, 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 Sofia. Well, that's what I think about you. You know, when I think about Sofia. Also, like, style-wise, too, like, yes, even the way you wear you, like, anything. dress, like, you can do so many, I don't know, it's so cool. So, how do you feel about these um, kind of um, experiences that you've been like growing so much in music? Um, it's been awesome. I feel like I always, I feel like I always am trying to do something different. I, you know, I get really bored if I do the same thing over and over again. So I just try to go in and like, I never really go in with a plan of how things are going to sound. It just kind of happens, however it happens. So. Yeah, I've been making so much music this quarantine. Like, I, I feel like I already have other, like, multiple other albums that are, like, pretty much ready. So I got to figure out what to do. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm the same. That's good. Yeah, it's good to go with the flow and not, like, have an idea <laughs> at the beginning of, you know, because you have to enjoy the process. And, yeah. And uh, so what was the most fun part about working you guys together? Because you're so talented. You, you, you like to experience and reinvent yourself. How did your puzzles, your life puzzles, get in together and fit in? I feel like just shooting the music video. Yeah, the music video was just really fun. It's so fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was really fun. And also we did a, we did a like live performance mm -hmm. and the rehearsal was super fun and I got to meet the whole band and you know, the whole team. And yeah, it was just fun. And then quarantine happened, but we still have, you know, we talked about going to a, an after party and like, you know, we have to go to Mexico City you know, and all that stuff. So we still yeah. have many pending, you know, things to do. Yeah, once we can go, finally. Exactly, exactly. Your voices of your generation, you know, and you are so inspired and, and taking care of that mental health. It's such a good thing that people that has this kind of voice that many millions of people um, connect with you through your music can see you through this kind of stuff, you know, that it's okay to, to not feel well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
Yeah. The feelings are what separate us from robots, right? <laughs> yeah, so I, I have a question now. Like, did you, growing up in the US, like the whole mental health topic, was it like a really common thing to talk about in your family or no? Because in Latin America, um, it's very, like taboo, like very behind, you know? In my family, it was something that we would talk about, you know, at different stages. Um, but it wasn't something just in day-to-day -day life. Like, I think I didn't really understand it because I was so young, you know, um, at first. And um, I think, like, as I kind of, like, grew up and went to, like, high school and college, it was something that I totally, literally, like, brushed out of my head entirely. Like, just no, like, the concept of being depressed or, like, having anxiety. Like, I didn't really know what that meant. Like, I, I, I like, and then I look back and I was just talking to my mom the other day about probably what was like my first panic attack and I was like so young and it's like looking back and being like oh that's what that was because I think like when you don't have the, the words for it you don't understand what it is it's just like this weird mystery you know yeah. thank you so much for being uh in match I'm so glad to see you two guys again and actually I'm super proud in the name of all the team that you are growing so much and and because you're like true artists but persons you know you're real Thank you so much for really, having really. us. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. And hopefully we get to see you soon in, in Mexico. Love, hope you can come to your tour that you were that you were supposed to have in March, right? Yeah, yeah, I can't wait till I can come back. I can't wait. Ugh. Well, that will happen, you know. Let's trust and let's be in positive. And Sofia, esperemos también que tú vengas muy pronto. Todo esto va a pasar. I'm so glad that your families are okay. Thank you. And have a good one. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. Nice to see you. Bye, Bye Sophie. Bye bye.